big item on the agenda after yes. this great day. Um, what are your thoughts on the situation? I know it's been tense. Yeah. So I, you know, I. I don't like that we have a detention facility in the city. I think it affects the community. We have a hard time with the community. Our kids are having a hard time with the facility there. But I think it's it's worse that we're now detaining uh, immigrants in there. I visited the facility today, and it's, it's disheartening, right? They're not criminals. Somebody needs to get detained because they're a criminal for whatever reason. We need to go different, different ways about that. But to detain somebody just because they're crossing the border, because they're fleeing safety or medical reasons or for whatever other reason, to detain them, to me it's not right. And nonetheless, they should not be in Central Falls, which is a community that's built by immigrants, a community that's led by immigrants. So I don't think they, they should continue here in the city. So, you know, I think my my biggest step right now is trying to cancel that contract and stop them from bringing the detainees based on the zero initiative tolerance. And then the second step, we need to continue and trying to figure out how are we going to get them shut down. Was that the, the, for lack of a better term, straw that broke the camel's back, those ICE detainees coming in, or was this going to happen regardless? So it's, it's I've been asking about this, right? And I will continue ask, to continue ask about why do we have the detention facility here, especially if we're not getting any money from them. How are we benefiting from them? We're not benefiting from them and it's they're basically they're off taxpayer money. So it the the detainee situation definitely you know stirred the pot even more but it was a subject that was already being talked about and we as the council were already talking about it and we knew that this was gonna happen sooner or later because most of us do not agree with them not paying us and living off taxpayer money. What are the next steps? And we could use that. So the next steps is I need to know, you know, if that, can, that contract is going to get cancelled and how soon that contract can get can cancelled. The contract with um, the city? The Wyatt and immigration okay. so that they can stop bringing them here. Um, it's disheartening. You know, I visited them today. Uh, first of all, they all look like minors. They look like they're between 13 and, and maybe 16 years old. I asked and they said they're all adults. Um, I'm trying to get some visits with some of them. I actually put my name on, on the visitors list for one of them so I will get more information. We weren't allowed to talk to them. So I think the first step is trying to cancel that, that contract. And we'll see, you know, what we have to do from here. So I get, I follow legal advice as well because we don't, because we're going through a legal process. I don't want to. I want to make sure that we're not breaking any legal. You're referring to the contract with the U.S. Marshal's Office, correct? Yes. And then this resolution. I mean, from what I gather, this would just completely end your relationship with the Wyatt. What would that mean for the city? We're not getting any benefit from them right now. So. How is it affecting us? You know, we, it's unfortunate that people work there and they have families and stuff, but that's going to be something that we're going to have to talk about in the future and try to help the people that work there already because I also don't want to see these people left without jobs. That, that right? was one of the things I asked the mayor earlier. Yes. Do you know about how many people work in Central Falls and who kind of that's so, there? I don't. I don't. And I haven't had any direct contact with anybody who lives in the city of Central Falls. Is it really an economic driver for the city? Uh... No, no, we, you know, they, we don't need them here. We really don't benefit from them. You know what you do with the building? <laughs> we, you, that building could be used for many things, but I can't tell you right now what we would use it for if we ended up with the building. I, I don't know. We could use oh, it for a lot of things. No, 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 no. There are many things yeah. that the building could be used for, right? But the building would have to be reconstructed because of the way it's set up right now. So I can't tell you what the building would be used for. Does this essentially cut cut the city's ability to collect any money from the Wyatt, or is this just kind of starting that process? I don't think it cuts, you know, the ability from, from us getting any money from them. I don't think it does. And I think now them housing more detainees now, they're probably going to start trying to figure out how they're going to pay us. But honestly, I don't know if I want any money from them. I just, I prefer that they're out of the city. They don't belong in our community. I don't think they belong in the state of Rhode Island either. What do you think about the bondholders telling you that your recent protest outside the Wyatt endangered people in the community? <laughs> I don't think that's true. Yeah. You know, that's First Amendment. We have every right to do that. And I know that the detainees in there were happy that people are advocating for them. And that's what matters to me. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Is there anything you'd like to add that we didn't ask you? No, I just, you know, I it, it was very touching today when I went in and saw the inmates. We weren't able to speak to them, which I wish I, I had the opportunity to speak to them. And, 
No, it's just disheartening that they have to go through this. And I'll tell you that they had 133, and right now they only have 62 left in there. Uh, ICE team? So I was told they are signing voluntary waivers to go back to their countries. Oh. Okay, so that means there's less ICE detainees there? Yes, okay. but that doesn't mean that they're not going to bring any more. R okay, so last week was what, 130? There was 133 initially. Initially, okay, and now there's about 60. 62 or 63 was the number. This was initially in January that you guys were hearing about them coming in. The, the first time I heard about this was this month. Yeah, I did not know that they had signed this contract. Right, they signed the contract in January though, right? Yeah. I just seen this contract about last week was the yeah. first time I saw that contract. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. We appreciate it.